Flowmaster Part 2. Hang tight. Get ready. We got a whole lot to cover tonight, so let's get right to it. Alright, before we start anything, smash that like button, smash subscribe, and of course, notification icons. Follow us over here on Facebook, Twitter, of course here on YouTube. This is Flowmaster Training Part 2. If you have not watched Part 1, please pause this video and go watch the other one. Also, smash the like on that. If you don't have notifications enabled and you're not subscribed, again, you're going to miss out on a whole lot. Head on over here to our Discord channel as well. This is where the primary chat is. This is where you're going to get all of those menus I'm about to show you here tonight. How to get acquainted with it. We're going to do the Flowmaster Visual, Flowmaster Audio. You guys can probably hear the machine gun sounds over here on the right. On the system to my right, we're going to talk about the audio parts, how we use that. We're going to show you some live examples from today. That is actually going to be the meat and the core of what I'm really going to be able to show you because it's really hard to explain things that are in your ear, right? You can't see it. You got to feel it. We're going to talk about that part of the Flowmaster audio box and I am very excited to get to that part here tonight. It is so powerful, completely OP. Those of you guys who have been in our room, you know what I mean. So let's get into some things. First thing I want to show tonight, let's start with some results of the Flowmaster and what's adding to some of the stuff in our room. Our room is absolutely just blowing up, completely crushing it. I'm going to show you guys some results from some of our crew here. Here is Barry Smoke, who didn't want to be left out today. He got uh, 4666 today, 68% profitable, 1.93 profit factor. Excellent work. Now let's look at this MAE too, right? So people are like, yeah, but I bet he's taking a big bunch of drawdown. Really? $108 in a trade was his max adverse excursion. Really? Max adverse excursion. If you don't know what that is, go watch the MAE video. That is amazing work. Here's Eric. $68.87.50. Holy shnikes. Profit factor 1.95. And percent profitable, 74%. Uh, you can't see his MAE down here. His MAE is off the screen, but hey, that is amazing results. The profit factor tells everything. Almost a two to one on that profit factor and 75% profitable for Eric. Let's take a peek at some more. Scrolling up here. Let me, let me zoom out just a little bit. I think I'm feeling I'm zoomed in. Oh, <laughs> look at this tard. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to talk about some of the jigsaw shills. Maybe a little bit at the end. Stay tuned for some of the exciting parts of our favorite jigsaw affiliate shill. Speculator Seth, he made a little showing today as well. Uh, Steven, yeah, these are all results from today. 60, 65, I'm seeing some um, consistency here at the 6K mark here today. 75% profitable, uh, 2.55 profit factor. That is the highest so far that we've seen. Here's JC, JC, 10,287. I think this is his afternoon session profit factor 9.85 completely smashing it percent profitable 86.67 percent for jc again he's the one to watch out for i've been telling y'all jc did his work is doing his homework does everything i ask him to do and then some extremely sharp kid absolutely crushing it kudos to jc and everybody else not to negate anybody else but i'm telling y'all put the compete competition hats on jc is the one to beat folks he's crushing it doing what doing the work there is BB, Butch, knocking down $795. I don't think he put his um, performance. Maybe he did. Maybe somewhere up here. But awesome day. 937, 80% profitable, 5.17 profit factor for Michael G. Let's keep going. Let's look at some more. <laughs> We're making fun of uh, some of these other guys. There's JC with his 10K. Uh, Steve M, 92.50. Now, again, this was for him. He traded all day today. I know that he was early AM. He was, he put in some work today. Steve, props to you. I think he said his first trades came in today at 5 AM, and he traded all the sessions today. Amazing work, sir. Guy needs a better, <laughs> he might need a Red Bull tonight if he's going to hang out with us here tonight. Um, any others that posted their results? Let's take a peek. I don't know. Anyhow, I hope that gets you guys pumped up. Uh, there's me at 52.62 for today. Again, a little bit tougher for me. Uh, here's Ryu, one of our new guys. 92.12.50. Holy shnikes. 
Mr. Great, uh, he's, he's showing a trade here. Oh, wow, that is a huge trade. Did you catch the bottom down there? He did. Took a harmonic, multi-harmonic, long side. Holy shnikes. That is a huge trade right there. JC, this is his afternoon sessions. That was uh, a half hour before the market closed at 4K. Amazing, amazing work here in the room. Now, we're going to show some trades here from today. So, Oh, so here's my results specifically. 1.87 profit factor for me, 62% on it um uh, man we had lots of people beating me today i mean i'm impressed my room is absolutely smashing it uh this is the last trade of the day actually we did get this recorded we tried to do a little recorded piece on a little side screen i set up today just to test it out to see if it would work it seemed to work okay so far i'm gonna knock on wood here um hopefully that continues to work but Flowmaster is the answer to the majority of these so we're starting out with some results and now let's get into the nitty-gritty details of what exactly that is so you probably learned and remember from the last lesson we've got our various colors okay we've got the yellow cross we've got the blue cross and we have the white cross that i don't have color for so we're just going to do it like this and white will not let me draw on this little app but the big one that is our big white cross now remember what is the what coincides with that if you are using the bubbles they are the same you should have gotten that from the last video if you're confused by that whoops um, go back and take a peek okay got the yellow circle we've got the blue circle a little bit bigger and of course the white one is the big dog this is the one that we initiate positions off of uh, most of the time, and we are, well, yeah, you get the picture, I'm going to draw it big, all right, so bubbles and crosses, both the same, simply two ways to see it, higher time frames, we talked about this one today, on the higher time frames, I am using the bubbles, higher time frames, what does that mean, higher time frames, so I'm just going to make it very, very simple, if you are on the algo bars, you write this down, if you are on the algo bars, Algo bars, ones, twos, threes, tops. We are using the crosses. Got it? One, two, three. Easy, right? One, two, three. We got three crosses. Think of it that way. Ones, twos, and threes. Use the crosses. Just trust me. Do it my way for now. In the future, when you are a master, when you're beating me, go do it your own way, okay? But let's master the remix first. Circles on anything higher than one, two, and three. Does that make it simple enough? Okay, all your charts for Flowmaster, make sure that's there. That should already be there if you're opening it up out of the box. Flowmaster Workspace, if you are new or doing a two-week free trial, already there on your charts, bubbles and crosses. Okay, remember, we got the small for the yellow, medium for the blue, large, this is also the king, all right, the beast. That's what you need to know. Now, let's get into the specific examples. All right, so on a chart that looks like this, if we can open an original. So this is how it kind of looks and lays out. And I know it looks like a bit of a mess, but when you zoom into these things, it starts to make a whole, whole lot of sense, right? Really just pay attention, let your eyes glaze over and pay attention to the places with the white crosses, okay? That's how we start to use the majority of the things that we're looking for. Now, the specific strategies that we are using, you need to head into the main chat over here on the left, a picture's worth a thousand words. I'm going to duplicate this real quick. Right click, duplicate, tab. While that's loading up, um, actually, let me see if it'll go to the same spot. Sometimes it doesn't. No, it did not. Okay, so I'm going to scroll down here, and there is the education section. I know we have a lot of things on the left. I told you guys in the last video, if you are overwhelmed by lists, this is not the place for you. Go away. If you're going to complain about how many menus we have, we have a lot to teach you, folks. But trading is not easy but it can be simple. You just have to learn the things, take your time, learn it. I promise everybody in here is just doing a fantastic job. It's not too hard for you to learn, but you do need to put in some time. You need to say, commit to it, go, I'm gonna learn this and go, okay? The results will speak for themselves. So in the strat section, on here on the left, all of the strat entries that we use and when we use them are over here on the left. Now, you can filter this, you can type in hashtag symbol things in our room. All these little hashtag things are very, very helpful. So any area here on the command area, you can type in hashtag, and I would do cross, okay? And all of the cross stuff should show up right here. Strat PRZ cross, 
Um, that might be the only one that I've got listed right here. So let's go ahead and go into this one. And I'm gonna go right here. So the crosses. Now, <clears throat> where is my headshot? So there's one called the headshot as well. Mm, should I add that later? No, you just have to know what they are. You'll learn them as we go. I promise as you follow in on the room, you're gonna get to know these, but PRZ crosses. Um, inside of here, you're gonna be able to see these kind of in action. Uh, sometimes the crosses for the Flowmaster are going to empower a position, empower an entry, okay? To enhance everything that we're doing here is building confluence. This is additional order flow in that area. This is where we wanna see, this is interest in that area. We've got buyers and sellers coming into this place. There's a lot of exchange going on right there. It requires size and speed for us to show that on your chart. And in this location here, this is combined with a dot. In this location, you should already know the dot system. If you don't, you know, go back, roll back the tape. Very, very easy style of trade here. Let me see if I can open this and get this even bigger. Um, let's resume back a little bit here. Oops. All right, that should be easier to see. Okay. Let's see if we can zoom in even farther, right to this trade. Get right into the flow master, okay? Let's talk about why the flow. So up here, I've already got my reasoning for wanting to get into this position, right? So I see I got a PRZ. Again, you're gonna learn these things, so if you don't know what these are later on, again, focus tonight on the crosses. The flow master is addition to what we're looking for. And you'll know our structures, you'll learn that later in the harmonics and the PRZ sections. But here we have what's called an HMD. This is the harmonic plus the dot. Inside, we're looking to enter in the position. When we get our additional confluence of this beautiful white cross right here, this helps us to go, yes, I want this. I've also got big buyers and sellers coming into this area. And because of my position and my structure, I want to enter into this trade and I'm looking to get my targets filled. And of course, target one, target two, target three into a PRZ on this one, particularly into the PRZ box. First one off at the top. Very, very nice trade right there. That's a $1,200 trade for eight contracts. That's a nice one. Let's take a peek at another one. Again, I'm gonna use a few examples here and we're gonna show some actual live video here today at the end, but I want you to see some examples here first of ways that we can use this. Now, this is an interesting one. This does not include one of our classic dots. This is a pushing probe strategy entry on this trade. A Little bit of a um, less popular one in our room, I would say, but kind of one of my favorites. Also, um, if you guys know Tom Dante, it's actually one of his kind of favorites. Um, and can you guys see that? It's a little bit fuzzy, I know, because I've zoomed in on this. So we're looking for the PRZ, um, I'm sorry, looking for the pushing probe entry here. Do you see all the interest coming into this area? Oftentimes you'll hear me in the room, you see all the crosses show up, you see how like, I mean, you can just, you can just see it, right? You see all the interest coming into this area? The last place we saw interest, back here, right? Double crosses, now we're looking, this is about our distance. We've pretty much zoomed into this area. Now we're kind of getting rid, accumulation, accumulation, accumulation. In this case, we've got longs favorable. We had MACV long. We're looking for the long entry position. Where do I want to enter? I want to get in because these white crosses are showing up, telling me I've got the interest here. This is order flow, massive order flow coming into these areas. And this is what I want to do. This is a pushing probe strategy. So this is more on this screenshot, more showing that, but we also used the entries. The first entries for this were the white cross is coming in to solidify the position. And I'm looking for the PRZ target up above. You can watch that one in the room there as well. Okay, let's take a peek at a couple more here. This is Mr. Cook posting this one. This is potentially in the wrong location. What is this room? Um, that actually looks like a HMD. Am I in the HMD room? Oh, that's the wrong. <laughs> I was like, no. Okay, that was an HMD trade from earlier today. I was like, what just happened? All right, here we go. So let's take a peek. What's this one? HMD initial entry long. And then we should get a white cross. I'm going to assume for, yeah. So the add to the position. Boom, look at all the white crosses showing up, reaffirming the position. And look how monstrous that trade became. Okay, let's zoom in. 
as this trade comes in, let's take a peek. All right, so I know it's a little bit fuzzy because we're zoomed in. Again, this was taken on a 4K screen originally, and we're all kinds of zoomed in here. So initial trade position was by itself green dot inside of a PRZ. Okay, notice I am towing the water here, right? How many contracts am I taking? I'm only taking two contracts. Okay, that's me saying, eh, I'm towing the water. I'm gonna test this might work here, okay? Then I get the white cross starting to show up. Watch me start to add to my positions as these white crosses show up in this area to tell me that this is good and juicy. Okay, look, we got longs favorable. I'm certain at this point, I was also looking over at the MACV filter and you guys have been following me in the room, know what that means. And of course, in video lessons one through six, you know about the filtering, looking for this position, the white crosses, that order flow starting to come in. I wanna get going. Now, let's, let's just, while we're here, do you see this? Of course you do, okay? What am I gonna do with this? I am definitely gonna be drawing ourselves a nice, Big fat horizontal line here to go. We've got an area of interest down here and I might push it up a little bit farther. Probably, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, horseshoes and hand grenades and stuff like this, gotta be close, okay? But if I was gonna be drawing a zone, it'd be something like this, okay? An interest zone, already knew it was there. Let's see if this dips in. I believe it actually does on this trade. And again, more pickup when we got those white crosses and boom, the explosion. We also had some timing going on. And again, I know there's a lot going on I'm talking about this trade, but just focus in know that Flowmaster is adding to this position, okay? White cross right there, boom, oops. Guess I'm not very good at pausing, I'm just gonna have to let it go. Okay, green dot, I'm getting in long, two, I'm adding to position, eight, getting up to eight contracts as we go in. Again, adding in on those white crosses. Did it dip into this area? I think it did, let's see, pretty close. No, pretty close. White cross came in just up above it. There were white crosses over here as well. Again, lots. This kind of told me everything. We would be reading into the charts here knowing that this is gonna be a good position because of the kind of the, the general areas of where these are starting to come in. We know we got a good position, plus what's our structure? We had a structure plus a dot plus the crosses giving us that extra oomph to get a big, big trade off of this one. And even on eight contracts there, this is gonna be about another $1,200 trade Excellent, excellent trade right there, okay? Now, focusing in on the details of the crosses, the crosses, what do they represent? We're getting order flow, massive order flow in that area. Other products try to kind of do what we do. They do a crappy job of it. If you've ever heard of the Jigsaw product that gets affiliate linked every freaking where on the internet, complete trash. The best thing about their tool is them attempting to do what we do with Flowmaster Visual. But now, let's take the next step. Everybody kind of gets the crosses and the dots, but now, let me take you. We are 17 minutes in to this. Right now, at 17 minute marker, let's shift over and start focusing on Flowmaster Audio Box. Now, if you want to come try out Flowmaster Audio Box, regardless of whether you have our stuff installed or not, all you have to do is come into our audio um, audio room on the Algo Trade floor. As of right now, this date, whatever date this video is coming out, we're around April 22nd. This is free for the public. Come in, come listen, right? We are completely open. We know we are the best. We know it, right? We know it, okay? Come in, see for yourself. Come listen, okay? Come listen, come see. Come listen to me while I'm trading through in the market, but listen into the audio box. This is where it's playing through as of right now, okay? We're not sure how this is gonna work in the next releases. We're gonna try to figure out a way to get that into release. However, it may always be delivered through our audio channels in our room. We'll see, okay? We're working that out, details, but for right now, this is where you're gonna come and hear these things. And let me give you some examples from today on hearing what that sound is like. Now. Let me back up a few steps. People who were trading out on the floors, they would talk about having an advantage of being on the actual NYSE floor at the CME on those floors to be able to hear the activity going on in the room, to feel the excitement of the trade. People buying, buying, buying. You could feel like people, okay, who's hitting and they would, they would kind of get a feel, I'm doing air quotes here, a feel for what was happening, where the prices were going. Well, when you were off the floor, 
many people have tried to reproduce that environment. How do you get that excitement, right? You, you'll hear these squawk rooms and they've, they've tried to do these things, whatnot. I don't know that they've done necessarily a great job. There's some tools out there that I'm sure do an okay job. But what we have done is gone, where would I hear the activity? And what we decided was the tape. Let's dig into the tape and really extrapolate what's in the tape. Because here's what's interesting. Go back and watch my video called The Intent of the Tape. In fact, we'll go, we'll go Google this one, okay? Google Intent of the Tape. Vinny E Mini, just so we make sure we get the right one. Here we go, Deep Dive, Intent of the Tape. You wanna go watch this video, okay? I talk about the history of, course, here, of the YouTube. data. Whoops, let me pause that. Here tonight. Okay, oh, that was bad. <laughs> my hair was growing out at the time. Um, so back into this, we talk about optimizations through this. Now the intent of the tape, talking about how the tape is broken up now, okay? And if you've ever watched uh, watched the tape before or tried to like, look, you can try this visually, but I'll tell you what has been a game changer is being able to hear it and feel it coming into your ears and a you can feel the rapid of the orders coming in. The speed and the size on the tape, that's what we have done. now. What happened in October 2009? The tape changed. That's the history in this video. If you wanna go back and watch and listen in how that all changed and why the order flow techniques of the past and the stuff that was built back then, <coughs> hint, hint, nudge, nudge, jigsaw, trash. <coughs> Excuse me, trash. <coughs> jigsaw is trash. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Peter Davies is a scumbag. Uh, talk to Tom Dante, he'll tell you as well. Um, so, little history there, uh, history lesson on things that I'm certain the trading markets will know about all of that very soon. But hang tight. The history. In 2009, October, everything changed. The way that the CME distributed data, near data feed, everybody knows their data feed that comes to them and whatnot, the data feeds changed, okay? We got technology that increased, we were able to get more, okay? It's basically just more. Now we're down to like the microseconds. If you've got a kinetic data feed, if you got CQG continuum, I would really kind of stick right there. Me personally, got lots of reasons for that, but here we go. Getting into the tape, the orders now got broken up into their individual pieces as they got filled, that changed way back then. So everybody who's like, oh, I see the iceberg orders coming in on the tape, all that trash, does not work anymore, folks. You wonder why people can't read the tape like they used to? They're like, oh man, I'm a tape reader. Yeah, post 2009, if somebody's still saying that they're a tape reader and they're, dying, they're looking at the order flows and looking at the level twos and I'm getting iceberg orders, it's trash, okay? Right now, the best thing that's in there is basically Morse code. If you can read Morse code, there's Morse code going on there, except it's Morse code that nobody else knows except for the people who are communicating at that level on the level two. So stop trying, okay? Really, get, get, a, get over it. It's not you. I promise you're not gonna be able to read it, okay? I can't read it, you can't read it, but let me tell you and let me show you what we can do. As those orders are actually being executed, that cannot be faked. That is what we are going to feel coming into your computer, into your ears, as you can feel the rapidity and the speed of the market and the size coming in in positions to the long side and to the short side, which is really all you need to know. It's a binary operation, and we're gonna show you how we do that in some examples from today. Are you ready? Let's give some samples of some Flowmaster. This entitled video is called Flowmaster Flex. Uh, I think we call it flexing today. Um, head over here to our uh, YouTube channel. Should be one of the latest videos right here. You want to go watch the this one tonight. So this is um, today's morning session. And we had a little show and tell from uh, Speculator Seth. Came in there later in it. But this one right here, if you want to watch it in because I'm going to show you some parts here from it today. But I did a lot of training afterwards in this video that I won't go into right now. But listen in. These are the things that the people get in the room that are hanging out with us um, during a trade session. Go check that out. I think you're going to see how valuable that information is and the things that start to click with the algo box and why it's such an amazing cheat for the markets. Okay, You don't have to be a great trader. If you got algo box, you have to be a great gamer and we turn you into a great gamer. Okay, It's not easy, but it can be simple when you got algo box. Okay, you'll know when to press the buttons. We'll show it to you. Red light, green light. My eight-year-old daughter can trade better than most traders. Oh, I forgot. I can't say eight anymore. She just turned nine. Holy shnikes. All right. So this is the video we're about to get into, and I'm going to take you straight to one of the sections 
And I want you to listen, okay? This is where, put on your ears, okay? No, everybody's got two of them, but they always use their mouth more, and we only got one mouth, but let's reverse that here. Let's listen in to the tape as we take some trades. Let me crank the mute sound up here. Should be all the way up. All right, let me uh, make this a little bit bigger here, as big as we can get it here that makes sense. All right, here we go. And I'm looking to sell. sell. Okay, pow, pow. Did you hear that? First set. Those are some big sellers. Now, how can I tell that? Just from those little doo doo. Did you hear that? I'm sure you did. Doo doo. That is a deep bass sound. Bass, deep sound, low bass sound, low going lower. Got it? Ding. There you go. You got it. Now, let's listen in as more okay i was already looking for the sellers now mind you let me back up a little bit um prior to this i set up the morning we know that between uh 9 40 and 9 50 we are looking for the trap move okay first 10 minutes of the day we are looking for a big fat trap we already knew what we looked for this was we i've been talking about in the room we were going to be looking for a bull trap okay bull trap bull crap between 10 40 10 50 i'm sorry um 9 40 and 9 50. We talk about that in a room. You'll learn that as you go. Come and hang out with us. You'll see why. Now, so I'm looking for the short. You heard me say I'm looking for a short, and then I heard doo doo. Now, what else? Why else did I get into this trade? Okay, we're in a PRZ, so we got a structure, but you're gonna say, well, Vinny, wait a minute, it's green. Why aren't you getting long right there? Uh, many things, folks. Again, we're looking for a short here for all the reasons that I talked to prior to this section, but I want you to focus in on the sounds. The first part of this is doo doo. The second part of this is, you see that line right there, that vertical? Now, you're gonna see a whole bunch of those, right? All of this right here. This is what we call jail, okay? But you see this? This is a jailbreak. Do you see any lines over here? No. Now, you might be thinking, well, are these drawn in hindsight? No, these actually draw out in front of you. If you watch our SMLK videos, or if you know about SMLK, small, medium, large, king size, there are four lines that come out, project out in front of you to know where this is gonna turn. Okay, so this happened to reach this point. Again, we'll see some more here, but this is a king line. That is the pink, which is designated as the king line. I've got the king location here. I'm looking for a big move, okay? And I start to hear the sellers come in the tape. And now look over here to the left. What was right here? What's right there? Flow master visual coming in right there. We had one right here, okay? So two spots over here, 2779, 2780. Okay, and we start to hear the sellers come in hard. Okay, and we got this. This looks like a nice little up move. Again, we were looking for a bull trap in this area. We got the trap. That is a nasty looking trap right there. And we wrecked all of them. As their stops get to get hit right down this area, as they start getting punched, they get wrecked. Okay, and we ride that position on the other side. Now, one more thing over here to the left. What's that right there? Again, people who've been with my crew for a while, you know that is a power dot for a short position right over there on the MACV. And it looks like the MACV was also red. You see it? You can barely see it in this screen right here, but that is a red MACV. So we're looking for shorts. The system already tells you that. We know the time of day, all these things lining up. But now listen in and see if you can feel how easy this trade entry becomes as we get the confirmation of all of the selling coming in. Let's listen in comes some sellers i'm getting in on that sell and this should be a bull trap up top there we go we've got targets down below us into the prz i know this is moving very very quickly here this morning if you're trying to keep up i get it it's not going to be an easy day talk about it from the beginning expect a trap right here between 940 and now you heard the right and now you hear nothing right it's like hmm okay where did they go listen in when the second set comes in that's when we really want to get into it this is one way to use this we have several ways that we need to use this but i just want you for tonight's video we'll do a part three of this where i really get into there's really two primary ways of continuation or playing against the sounds as we have something called absorption okay we'll talk about that in part three we'll get into the details of those but i want you to feel it here tonight 950 
That is obviously a bull trap up top. Everybody you hear it? Long. Those are sellers. It comes down. We came right Big sellers. The timing. Breaking through PRZs here. Now, visually, what are we showing? Visually, you guys know from video number one, what do we use the yellow crosses for? Continuation volume. Do you see the little yellow crosses showing up? Yep. Big sellers coming into that area. Those are the big sellers trying to come in. The speed of the tape, we also are taking into account, which is what you can hear and you cannot see. Here we go. Listen in. Walk through all these and see back down to that purple line. And this time, that purple line may break. White cross. What do we think about right there? Cross here, right on my point of entry. Another set. Double cross, adding to my position. Okay, you see that? Adding to my position here. Why? White crosses, right? We have, we've got big, like the position movers are coming in right here. Bull trap is up top. All these people up here. Think about who's hurting right here. Who's hurting? You guys have heard my, seen my videos before. Who's in pain above where we currently are right now? All of those people, major pain, right? Pain and suffering. What's going to happen when the position and the size gets right here, when the price gets down here? Extreme pain, right? Stops getting hit. What are stops? Sell orders. In this case, because they're buying up here, those are going to become sell orders and sell and hopefully push down all the way down to my targets down below. Okay. Adding to position, order flow coming in. Here we go. Here if I, I want Again, to MACV is red. Step back in. Now, you heard that? I said I'm listening for him. Ten bars before King Time. There they come. You hear it? Here they come. Yikes. Green dot. Okay. okay. Party is over right there. Dead gummit. Now, I got to take some off on a green dot, right? Now, here comes a king timing line. Is that a double king? No, single king, single king timing coming up. So again, we're not we're not in trouble yet. We got we got plenty of time. As this king comes up, we want to see the turn come there though, right? That's where we want it. We want to make sure that we stay there. If we start breaking above this after this king, you know, we're gonna close out the position above our crosses now, right? Here we go. I gotta take off half the position right here. Green knot coming in, king timing, yikes, buyer stepping. Buyers try. Oh, That's a wrong. different sound. Now listen. Listen to the sound. Do you hear the difference in the sound? That's the sellers now stepping in, trying to push that on up. The green dot kind of gave us that hint that that could happen. Okay. So I want to start second guessing my thoughts on this right about now. Right. Again, but this is what a bull trap does. This is what we call the fakey leg. If you look here, do you see how this is also an inverted J hook? Anybody who studied my J hook, what does this look like right here? Classic, right? And what do we have here? Triple crown, fakey leg, right? Yeah. So what's going to happen when we start going this way? It is going to hurt. So we got a J-hook also playing in here. Let's listen in. So we had two sounds. You heard the bass of the sellers coming in at that spot. Now we've got this. Now we got the buyers kind of pushing it back up, pushing it, pushing it. Now let's watch the position continue on. Very, very wrong on this one. Nope. Fakey leg. Buyers tried. Green dot. Second green dot. Yikes. All right. We got a little nervous there. Now, right there, everybody looks at that. That You feel how much that looked like it was the upside? We had already, no, but we know what time of day it was. We're looking for a bull trap. We want the bulls to be convinced that they're correct. Right there, that gives the bulls all the confidence in the world. They're like, yeah, we're going to new highs. I bet people are betting the farm getting long right there. Right, but what did we already know? We know the time of day. We know what was happening there in the morning. We're looking for the bull trap. Here it comes, here comes the bull crap. There they come, you hear that sound? Do, 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 do. That right there is it. And a green dot break right there gives us the extra confidence we could add to this position right here because we got a dot break, didn't we? Right? So we add in. Here we go. Oh, double dot just broken. Am I gonna get lucky? sellers? Here's sellers. Listen to that. Sellers coming. Sellers all break over it. Down. Come on. 
break down for me. Don't wreck me. All right, I'm moving my stop into that high just up above. This is going to be Genki here. Need to hear those sellers come in. You're on the large timing now. King timing coming up. Plenty of space. Let's listen. Trap up top. That also looks like another. That's like a second push for the bulls. Hopefully that gets failed. And a push right back down to that purple line. Here Target they come. Filled. Here they come. All right, we're going to be in a good spot here. Here come the sellers. I heard them step. I need another set of I need another set of sellers to really see that to fruition here. Right into the king timing. Coming back. Nope, I'm gonna close out. Okay, now second sound. Did you hear that? So as the bulls came in right after, this is the high sound, right? Before that, we heard the bears coming in, just doo -doo 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 -doo. but now what do we hear? We hear the big buyers buying this back up we had a green prz down here for the touch so i had to be a little bit nervous on my second part of my trade there right so i did not get target two down there on this position let's follow through okay let's play yeah, a little bit faster a little bit of a tough spot there so it didn't break and we had that green prz close out the rest of the position right here right on was that cartley very big shark. So we did not go back down to that 2775 right there. And then boom, we see buyers start to step in. White cross is pushing up into that king line. Okay, so that was trade number four. We now, tracking the tracking the trades. Um, if you guys know how we track our trades, again, five trades, how do we track it? Like this. So I knew where I was on the level, jump to present. Here we go. Five trades. Here's how we track it. Let's keep on going. We've got the Fifth trade here coming. Now, if I had been super confident, what should I have done right there on that white cross? We should have taken that short again, right? If I really, I got, I got nervous. Okay, I'm on my fourth trade now. I've only got one trade left in the gun. And that one made me a little bit nervous because I actually expected the last move to get down there to that line down below in the purple spot. So I was a little bit nervous, right? But I should have, I could have dipped my toe in the water right there for the short right here. Okay, because again, they're just getting completely wrecked here, here in just a moment. Let's play it. 1396 so far here on day. Let's see, McVee's still red. Looks like a bull trap. It's only 946. Again, we expect a trap here between 940 and 950. There's me talking it through, so right? It feels to the long side. There they and come. Four. Here it comes. Stopping. Here comes the sellers on the king timing. Again, sellers coming in. Here we go. Get short. I got my finger over the cells. Mac B still red. All right, here come the sellers on the king line. I'm going to reinitiate. This is my last trade here before 10 10. Getting short here on the king line. Here, sellers stepping all the way Here they come. Here. Listen to it. Oh, just crushing target, it. Target filled. Target Too filled. easy. Too easy. That that Huge trade. Why we use the big purple line. Big sellers stepping all into that. I got my finger over the cell for my sixth trade. Six shooter. I'm going to dip my toe in the water short right here. Again, very, very small position. The, we've got the PRZ target on the MACV of 2770, way down there. Continuing to hear sellers on the tape. On the MACV left. White cross, I should have added to the position right there. White cross coming in. I should have to position there. But I'm getting a little, a little nervous on that. Here we go. And PRZ on. Target oh. filled. Get you. So now, bailed early on that because the PRZ I was originally targeting disappeared. You can't see it because it's underneath the little logo looking thing down there, but there was a little gold PRZ sitting there going, here's my target when it broke and went away. You know, at that point, I've got to start to pull. We went into our timing lines. We were there at a spot where this could turn. Wanted to take my position. If this moved up and gave me a red in this area, I would have reinitiated the position. But right there, that is my sixth trade of the day. And I'm up almost 4K at this point of the day. And just listen to those sellers coming in. All right, there it is. See that little turn up right there? That's a little worried about. Beautiful, beautiful. Now right there, you can add to position to get short, but I'm already, at this point, I'm in six trades on the day. At this point, we're also at about 10 a.m., 10 10 is when we wanna take our break. So again, six trades in on the day. You know, I look at my PL and I kind of settle. That's my first set on the session. That was a nice one. So now I know I kind of commentated through that whole thing right there, but let's, uh, 
Let's play it through in high speed, but listen to the difference. And you should hear two sounds in there. You should hear the and you should hear that high pitched clack, 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 clack. It's more like a clack, 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 clack sound. And I show that, you remember, from video one. So you should already know the two different sounds. Let's watch it through one more time. And then I'm going to show you one more example at the end of the day that was a long trade and gave us the confidence in the boost at the end of the day with a blue dot power dot HMD plus the sound of the tape coming in. Let's listen in to the sound one more time without me interrupting. Shall we? We shall. Yikes, a little bit of a tough spot there. So it didn't break and we had that green TRZ close out the rest of the position right here. There's the buyers. Uh, was that Bartley? Buyers on this tape, you can hear it. Big shark. So we did not go back down to that 2775 right there. And then boom, we see buyers start to step in. White cross is pushing up into that king line. Okay, so that was trade number four. We've got the fifth trade here coming. 1396 so far here on today. Let's see, Mac V still red. Looks like a bull trap. It's only 946. Again, we expect a trap here between 940 and 950. So if it feels to the long there side, they go. You want to be looking for the trap up top and get short. I got my finger over the cells. Mac V still red. Need a second though. All right, here come the sellers on the king line. I'm going to reinitiate. This is my last trade here before. 10 10. Getting short here on the king line. Here, sellers stepping all the tape here. Hear that sound. Here we go. Let's get there. Target, target filled. filled. Glorious! Right down to that 2775. That, ladies and gents, is why we use the big purple line. Big seller stepping all into that. I got my finger over the cell for my sixth trade. Six shooter. I'm going to dip my toe in the water short right here. Again, very, very small position. The We've got a PRZ target on the MACV of 2770. Way down there. Right there on the MACV to the left. Put my target on the PRZ that was down there. Cross coming in. Should have two position there. But I'm getting a little nervous on that. Here we go. And PRZ gone. Target oh. filled. PRZ Get broke at that point. So. Indicating we're turning up. Yep, there we go. Glorious. All right, so that was a very nice, very nice short side trade. Now, let's take you up top. This is going to be zoomed in. And this was our final trade of the day, listening to the sounds, um, and of course the excitement, we had some Airwolf theme going on, got a little excited there at the end of the day, let's pop up, uh, let's see, how do I get it to that screen, it's been a while, let's go over to this one, all right, here we go, final trade of the day, listen to the sounds of the Flowmaster. Sellers tried.
Target filled. I'm too chicken. Hey. Glory be! Final trend of the day. Let's make that six. Yeah. It's a nice. Uh, real quick. Got the mic there. Uh, so real quick. Look. Do you see? There's like one spot here. Whoops. Let's draw on the right screen here, buddy. All right. One spot. You see that white bubble right there? This is an equivalent of one of these on the higher time frame. You guys got it? Okay, there's the bubbles. Again, bubbles are on the higher time frame charts. This is a 13 range. And there's our algo matrix telling us direction, directional bias for multiple time frames, etc. Of course, we can use these two charts with this right here to pretty much do all the damage that we do um, here in the crew. But there you go. So equivalent, white cross, there's a bubble again we kind of showed those in our previous video but just noted that while we were going through this super exciting on that trade blue power dot came in right there uh pretty easy for that one final trade of the day boom wrote it up target one target two up in here um it was, it was actually a great close out uh, remember this was the earnings report day we talked about what's going to happen there at the end of the day and it was a beauty I hope you guys enjoyed the Flowmaster Audio Part 2. There will be a Part 3 in which I will show you. You notice right here on this trade, what did I do? You heard the sellers come in right there, right? Hope you heard the sellers. We were up, 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 you know, clack, 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 all right? Helicopter sound, clack, 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 and then doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to teach you how we use that. That is called absorption, okay? We call that absorption just adds to it's like adding fuel to the fire that came in right there i added to the position right there and it became a wrecking ball and those got distributed again we collect accumulate hence the accumulate absorption a and a accumulation and absorption then we distribute right acdc you learn that in our lessons as well distribution leg on low volume that is a mistake for a lot of people that they always like oh there's low volume oh, i'm gonna get on ass low volume you're an idiot that's the best train ride to ride on low volume because all the reasons that i teach you in our lessons and that my friends was how we closed out the day 6k for me and pretty much with the room i don't even know how much total we all start like keeping track of our room itself how much we are absolutely crushing um last thing before we go here i'll pull this over so here is what your system will look like if you were blowing it out of the box um most of the time this is the majority of the charts with the trade setups that we use and right now if you're wondering well what is this whole thing you got two tr you got two charts going on right here right well i'm combining everything that's coming in from these five onto two right now lots of reasons why we're here in the market with the vix levels at levels where we are we adjust and adapt to the market conditions so people who are out there and say things which are, are true well when the market changes everything changes well that's true that's why we optimize weekly and intra-week for our system other systems cannot do that and definitely cannot do that on the fly what enables us to do that is the platform ninja trader that we can do on the back end and of course algo box is king Hope you guys enjoyed that tonight. Let's roll out with the end of this tape here. And I will catch you guys in the morning in the Algo Trade Room on the mic around 8.30 a.m. See ya! Big bet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Golden! Thank you.
In a world of scammers and shammers, there arose one demigod to wreck them all, making trading great again. <laughs>